Frida Kahlo opens in Toronto this week, featuring some of the artist's greatest work, like Two Fridas and Diego and I. The late Frida Kahlo was a Mexican painter known for her self-portraits, passion, political views, and use of vibrant colors in her work. The Frida that, that we, the family, know, you know, is the, the, the one that is the, the uh, less known Frida, you know. Everybody talks about the, the suffer of Frida, the, of course, Diego, uh, and her paintings. But for us, uh, the, the Frida that we know is more like a kind of, a, I don't know, like, like a, a happy Frida. Like a happy Frida. She, she used to sing songs with her guitar and to make jokes, and she was very happy. Kahlo's <laughs> grandniece, Mara Romeo Kahlo, and great grandniece, Mara Dianda, are here this week to view the exhibit. They run the Fundación Familia Kahlo and own the copyright to her work. This new exhibit is hosted by the Lighthouse Immersive team, Massimiliano Sicardi, who worked on the digital components, and composer Luca Longombardi. The team worked with Kahlo's relatives and say the show is bringing her art to digital life. And you know, for me, it was so exciting in this immersive because to see uh, my family, her family, <laughs> my mother is sold at the walls, and, and my grandmother, her sister, and my aunts, and everything, it's very emotional. To, to hear her heartbeat also, it's very, very emotional, you know, with the music and everything. I think it's a new way to see art. You, you will find um, her three loves. You know, Mexico, Diego, and of course, her family. In November, Frida Kahlo's 1949 painting of Diego and I sold at the Sotheby's auction for 34.9 million US dollars. This makes the painting the most costly piece of Latin American art ever sold at auction. You can see this piece, her other paintings, and a collection of photographs at the digital show. Tickets for the exhibit are still available, and it starts on March 31st. For City News, I'm Stella Cuisto.